Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Johnny. I'm Elliot. I'm Simon. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the world of Castlevania. A whole three years after I did the initial LP. Like uh, three years? Yeah, since I, uh, it was in October of 2011 where we did the first Castlevania. Jesus. We, we, we are behind on our Castlevania series. Yeah. Well, I have my reason, and the reason is Simon's quest. Anyway, let's read this prologue. Step into the shadows of the Hell House. You've arrived back here at Transylvania on business to destroy... <sighs> okay. To fine. destroy forever the curse of Dracula. Yeah, at uh, Transylvania, something... Uh, come for Dracula, stay for the rip. Okay, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We're not going to never gonna use the password system. We're going to use now, game well, start. Now, we're going to do something different. I have next to me the Nintendo Power issue of Castlevania 2. Okay. The second ever issue, I believe. Yep. And what, I'm, what we're using it for is that we're, for like, um, we're going to tell like the names that towns were in, the name of the uh, mansions we're going to go into, you know, etc. Yes. So why don't you start off by telling us where we're at now? We're in the town of Jova. 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 Throw an in there and it's Genova. Anyway. Can I get switch the O with an A, you get a Java. Java. Yeah, I was going to say, switch the O with the A, you get Java. Okay, so your current whip actually is the leather whip. It's just leather. For those nights where, for those rough nights when a little regular S and N isn't enough for you. <laughs> yeah. Gross. So Johnny, how, what are we doing here in this game per se? Okay, so Simon's quest changes the formula up. No, 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 no wait, wait, wait. I mean, like backstory. Like, what are we doing here for a second? Oh. Like, because that blurb just went by too quick. Ah, uh, you're right. You're right. Okay, let's get some backstory here. All right. So you guys remember the end of the first game, or anyone's familiar with the end of Castlevania One? We were Dracula's ass hard. He exploded into flames. He was gone. Unfortunately, before he died, he placed the curse on Simon. He could do that while spontaneously exploding? Uh, yeah. Because I would have thought that would have prompted a few other choice words like, Ow! Ah! You fuck! <laughs> I curse you, son of a bitch! <laughs> would have thought, and Simon didn't realize it until one day when his left toe fell off that he realized, Hey, you know what? Maybe I'm... Should take this more seriously. <laughs> his nails start falling off and shit. Yeah. Yeah, he starts deteriorating. That actually would make a really terrifying horror movie. Exactly. Well, District 9 actually did it. So. Yeah, yeah, when it was tra transforming into a prog. Uh, yeah, but... Prawn. Prawn, prog, whatever. I haven't seen a movie in about two years. I know, right? What's this? It was a good movie, though. Alright, so let's go into the mechanics of Simon's Quest. It obviously changes things up a bit from the first game. This is not linear point A to point B progression. This is a non-linear adventure, ladies and gentlemen. The first Castlevania game to do so. Like and Metroidvania they, before Ega. Pretty much. They, and they wouldn't look... And then didn't look back until Symphony of the Night in 1997. Where they realized, hey, you know, this actually can work. We just fucked up the first yeah, time. Yeah, we, we, we kind of messed up the first time. Because, ladies and gentlemen, you know, unless you have a guide on standby for your first playthrough, you're going to be lost. You're going to be very lost. Because uh, Simon's Quest suffers from a poorly translated text or dialogue. Yeah. You know, if people are not outright lying to you, which did happen in the Japanese version, uh, people, the, the, the hints are just poorly translated. They don't tell you exactly what you need to do. Like, there's a sequence later down in the game, we're jumping the gun a bit here, where, you know, it's the famous you have to kneel on the cliffside and wait for a tornado to come by when you have the red crystal equipped. The hint for that is, in this, is that hit your head on Deborah's cliff. Okay, I don't see the resemblance, but I'll take your word for it. I think they're trying to tell you to go kill yourself by smashing your head into the rocks. <laughs> yeah, but they don't like Simon. Yeah, it's nobody tacky does in this ass. Game. Even Black though he Lord. saved the world from Dracula, no, Simon stole the fucking asshole barbarian. Yeah. It's because he killed Dracula. Well, why? Oh, 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 so these are all Dracula's followers. Okay, I gotcha. And Simon's manly enough to strut past their towns like it ain't no thing. I, I, have, I would love to see that fully at three, in full 3D for a, an upcoming Smash game. They're all just giving him the stink eye. <laughs> but they don't act upon it. Because they know he has a. Ali, this is 1096. You have to bite. They have to bite their thumb at him. <laughs> right, so like right How now, jubile. right now, John, you're in the um, you're in Jova Woods. Oh, next right to next Jova. to Jova. I hope so. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> anyway, so what happened there uh, is uh, Simon's Quest has a day and night system. Uh, you can actually tell the time of the day by going in the pause menu. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Beforehand, how many other games have we played prior to this actually had incorporated this sort of thing? A day, day and night, night system? system? Uh, me and Elliot played Burn Fitz and Musashi. Uh, no, 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 I'm talking bef before Simon's Quest. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street had a day and night system, <laughs> but that was more of a <laughs> awakened dream, dream, reality. dream reality. Same sort of principle, though. Okay. Uh, at nighttime, enemies become stronger, but they drop more hearts to compensate. Towns and shops are closed. So you can't do anything. You can only kill enemies and gather some hearts. Speaking of which, you may have noticed that I haven't moved anywhere past these two screens. Well, because ladies and gentlemen, oh good, I leveled up. I'll get into that in a second. Uh, so you just got the thorn whip. No, no, no. That's not. That was just leveling up. Oh, never mind. Then fuck you. <laughs> That's how to power your life to me. Uh, you know, you collect uh, hearts. 
unlike the last game where it was ammunition for your sub-weapons, it's currency in this one. It also counts as experience points. If you pause the game, uh, you get a few things. The T is the time of the day. In this case, it is uh, 1T1 o'clock, uh, 3.52 seconds. My E is my experience. My level is at current... You, you start at level 0. I went to level 1. But now, because I leveled up from these guys, uh, heart drops are not going to give me nearly as much as experience. You level... Uh, the size of the heart depends on how much experience points you get. A half hearts, I believe, are worth four for experience points. Uh, once you get to 100 experience points, you level up. And then after that, it's every other 50 increments. So 100, 150, 200, 250, and so on and so forth. All right. Hearts are also currency, though. You can also you need hearts to buy shit at shops. That's got to be a very macabre barter system. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, 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 go, go to a... Jesus Christ, you see that? Alright, sir, we will take you 50 hearts to pay for this. OH MY GOD, YOU ACTUALLY WENT AND DID IT! <laughs> MY WALLET! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, I... I just love the hearts you candies! I grinded hearts here because there are two things we need to start our adventure with, and that is the White Crystal and Holy Water available in the town of Jova. Uh, you need at least 100 hearts to buy both, because the White Crystal is 50 and the Holy Water is also 50. I have at least 238, so I'm in pretty good shape. Yep. So, they hate Simon, but they're willing to do business with him. Okay. Well, only certain towns hate Simon's Gus. Guts. Guts. Gus. Gus. Simon yeah, Simon Gus. Gus. That's his yeah, last Simon, name. Simon, Simon has a very bad gas problem. Yeah. <laughs> what, are we in Breaking Bad or some shit? No, he what? just has a very bad gas no, no. problem. It's this not that, was, no, it's not that kind of way. This it's, was pre-Bino. You're thinking of the Blue Crystal, Elliot. Yeah. You know what's weird, though? What's up? Their clothes look like they have teeth. Yeah. yeah, the front of the clothes does look like some sort of like, smile. Is that, is that where you put the hearts? <laughs> Maybe oh, like, a, like a coin slot. Get in my belly. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There is um, there is a thorn whip you can buy in the town of Jova for a hundred hearts. But we are on our way to the second town, which has the chain whip, which is much stronger and only fifty hearts extra. So it's not worth the investment. Right. So we are on our way to the town of Varos. Yes. Varos, the truth, the town of truth. Is that what that means? V e r a. I think it's Latin for truth. So how's it spelled, Elliot? V e r o s. Oh, Varos. It might have been an attempt. You know, because Nintendo Power has to go with the translations they were given with. Yeah, they gotta look like real cool. They gotta look like doofuses when they got like the really improper <laughs> translation. So the holy water doesn't have a lingering effect like it did in the first Castlevania. Or any Castlevania since. Uh, well, Castlevania Three makes it lingering. No, I'm saying like this is the only game where it doesn't do the lingering thing. Every other game does it. Uh, you you're, you're okay. In that sense, I used the. I think I said it wrong. Sorry. Oh no, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> holy water does not cause hearts to use. You just throw a bottle at somebody's head. Yeah. Painful in its own right, but... <laughs> All right, hopefully, if I have enough time, I can make it to the next town. What was it called again, Elliot? Barros? Barros. And buy myself a chain. Do I have enough hearts? Yeah, I have 164. Okay, I'm actually doing really good for this heart grinding session. Uh, right. I'm not going to have enough time to get both the dagger and the uh, chain whip, which is what you're going to get here in the second town. Mm hmm yeah, so I'm, I'm pimping myself out for the first mansion, kind of like when me and Matt did Zelda 1 and I had got all the... I got all you the, got like everything you humanly could before, yeah, the, before, before, before the dungeon one. Before the dungeon one, yeah. Paranoid, or am I just... Uh, yeah, I'm paranoid. You're totally... You're totally paranoid. I'm totally paranoid, man. Off the but drugs. believe you me, wait till you see my friggin' Ocarina of Time playthrough. 16 fucking architectures before Water Temple. So I got God damn! Well, <laughs> well, if I'm gonna show off everything in the game, you know, but it's, I'm, are you, I, I'm jesting. Are you? But no, I'm actually serious. I'm curious. Are you? I can get one. Are you I'll going? Get everything. Are you going for it all? Even the gold. The gold. Even the gold to, God damn! I'm good, uh, I salute you, Matt. Dude, I dude, I have a, with barring unless you know I screw up and maybe miss one somewhere. Yeah. I have a damn near photographic memory of where they're all at. And I don't have a hard time believing that. I love that game. <laughs> <laughs> and Majora's Masks just stay right there in my heart. Yeah, okay. So what's with the churches there, Johnny? Can you go in there? Yeah, we can actually go in there. Might as well go in there. Whew. I don't know how much time I have left before it goes to night. Because, uh, yeah, it, you know, time's always ticking, folks. Churches close at night, right? Yes. The whole town closes at churches night. Churches at night are fucking creepy. I've never been. No, you don't need to go to inside the church at night, but if you were to stand outside of one, particularly one adorned with Gothic architecture, they're yeah. fucking creepy. Like Elliot, they're fucking they just look mirror. very imposing. Kudos, exactly. uh, bonus points if it's in the dark and stormy night. <laughs> what a horrible night to visit a church. <laughs> Said Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I do not. I need. Oh. I need. Uh, I mean, I need fifty hearts now to get the dagger in that town. So once again, I have to do another grinding session. This is our second of third grind fest. So 
I, I, you know. You know what's happening this, here, so I guess we'll come back. This in. is the name of the game, folks. You gotta do this if you want to get every item in the game, because, you know, I think hard drops are RNG. Oh. I don't know if there's a set pattern to them, like say Zelda One, even though that was really complicated. Uh. So, you know, you kill enemies and hope for the best. So, I'm going to grind here until daybreak, and I will see you guys then. Okay, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how many hearts I've I lost count after one away. By the way, you're in the wood, you're in Varos Woods. Varos Woods. Not James Woods. <laughs> James Woods. Okay, we have 174 hearts, more than enough for the new dagger upgrade, which I won't use because I never was a dagger fan. With the exception of Rondo Blood. So where the wait, item crashed, you threw like a thousand of them. So wait, we're in the underground city of the mole people? No. You may as well be when you think of it. We can clearly see the sky. We can clearly but, see the sky indeed. But the, like, the entire place, the entire town is underground. No, yeah, seriously, we, we just went downstairs. No, we can, we can see a blue sky. Just a separate level, that's all. Okay, let's buy the dagger. It's pretty much like the dagger weapon from the first Castlevania. Might as well show it off once. There you go. And that costs hearts. Oh, no, it doesn't. But it's also very short-ranged. It doesn't even like fall down to the ground. It just sort of implodes. <laughs> <laughs> it gets, it gets, it's a time. It's a time space dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Be very careful when exiting some of these doors because I had maybe like three times where I just walked right off of the uh, the damn blocks and into the uh, bottomless pit. <laughs> what a horrible night to go for a swim. <laughs> what a horrible night to be a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's say we go to our first mansion. All right, we are on our way to the Berkeley mansion. Berkeley. Why do I think? Of I think all of these mansions are named after something from like. Uh, I think Berkeley. I, I think really Elizabeth no, Berkeley. Wait, I think of Barkley. I was thinking of Charles. Barkley. Bar <laughs> no, no, That's true. Shut up and jam of Pennsylvania. I was thinking of Charles. Ah! I was thinking of Charles. Why do you throw the holy water? That's a good point. I got a little. Hey! 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 <laughs> hey! Naughty! Hey. Don't poke me with your bone. Jerk. Um, remember we'll shoot twice at you and then dive back down. So in case you can't reach them with any weapon, just uh, let, just One's let them be. One's a warning shot, the second one's the, the real deal. <laughs> Castlevania featured in the wire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's Berkeley Mansion. I, mean, I think you might have been had something going there. It might have been based off Elizabeth Berkeley. You know who Elizabeth Berkeley is? Uh, is that from the Bram Stoker novel? Oh. Okay. No, I was... No. Wasn't was she the one that, like, um... I was thinking showgirls, but okay. No, wasn't she the one that killed innocent girls, actually? I think that's Elena Bathory. Oh. Either or, I'm not sure which one. I think all of the mansions are named after those, though. Uh, something, there's gonna be something a, from the There's gonna be a YouTube comment fight calling each of us fools for not knowing which one we're talking about, where they, where they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> you fucking jerks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. what, I, what I actually do about the, uh, what I like about the Nintendo Power issue is that it actually shows you where the pitfalls are. Well, that's nice. Oh, well, I know where they are now by heart, so... Oh, really? No yeah. more throwing the holy water on the floor? No, no, no. But, uh, yeah, that, that could be some of... This is your first playthrough. That's what you're going to be doing all the fucking time once you encounter your first pitfall because they could be anywhere. You don't know where they are. If you don't have a guide, God forbid, I mean. Oof. How did you live? <laughs> Didn't you have the internet? No. <laughs> it. Oh. Right. I just had like a horrible breakdown moment mentally for a moment there where I just imagined the 90s. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> The fuck? Hey, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Back then, you couldn't even think of using your phone with the with the yeah. computer. Well then. All right. So since we're in Berkeley Mansion, <laughs> those are dark times. <laughs> <laughs> since we're in Berkeley Mansion, it says the mansion of Berkeley harbors gruesome enemies. Here rest the. As place. we see that Johnny just died. The face fucking, down. The face fucking down, blobs, man. man. I hate the blobs. Face down, oh, ass up. Blobs. By the way, he died. I'm ready for a close up, Mr. Rockula. <laughs> Watch it. Okay. Jesus Christ. So, um, all right. The mansion of Berkeley harbors gruesome enemies. Here rests the rib bone of Dracula. Claim it, then return to the town of Veros to learn new wisdom. <laughs> Dracula's rib? Yeah. Or well, never going back to Veros. <laughs> because we already, we already, we already. Johnny already stripped the town clean. Yeah. <laughs> they only had one dagger. Anyway, the, the Berkeley batch is not a very uh, complicated process. Yeah. Run here, whip, run, whip, holy bottle, win. Yep, pretty much. Although there are some times where you can, I think it's here. No, no, I'm thinking, oh, I'm thinking of the level below where that annoying ass blob is at. 
I will show you what I mean once I get there. But first, the mandatory thing in the mansion that you have to do is that every mansion contains a cloaked figure who will sell you an oak stake. You need to get an oak stake in every mansion because they are required to unlock the piece of Dracula at the very end of the dungeon. Fitting Link Dracula. There you go. Every time uh, mansions have hidden books like these, and they're just as cryptic as... Destroy the curse and you'll ruin Bram's... Bram's oh, Wait. Jesus. Brom. Brom. Bram Stoker. Yeah. Alright, destroy the curse. Well, I have to destroy Dracula to get rid of the curse. I'm sorry, book. Had enough of your jovial lies. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's not like, you know... He, he opens the book. Oh, it's an encyclopedia of Transylvania. <laughs> I don't have time for this. <laughs> and he puts it away. He tries reading it, but it's an owl dialect. <laughs> Read between the lines, Psychic. <laughs> yeah? There's nothing. It's blank. There's no, there's no words between the lines. There's a pit right here. See, the skeleton just turned because there's no floor to walk on. Oh, that slowdown. I guess you can use that as some sort of hint. I love that slowdown, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, well, the slowdown's gonna be a little more obnoxious in the second mansion, trust me. Alright, let's get our oak stake ready. Here's what you gotta use it on. And there you go. We collect Dracula's satchel. <laughs> Which has Dracula's... As soon as you process it. <laughs> <laughs> he processes what you just grabbed. He ate it. It takes, about, right. it takes about five minutes to process. The rib is also an item that you can equip for Simon. It's a shield. It's a, a macabre shield. You can easily see, like, rib cages, like... Oh, no, or at least Dracula has some weirdest fuck anatomy. His ribs look like shields. Uh, I can imagine being, like, the rib cage, but, uh... I... Yeah, I... Yeah. Would that make for a good shield, though? Uh, if you okay. want to go with the gothic horror theme, then there have been rib cages made... fashioned into shields. Well, I'm more talking to, like, literally, it's ri his rib cage. No, too many holes. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> it's like, it has way too many holes. Anyway, we're, we're gonna backtrack a bit, so we're gonna buy another oak stake from the guy, so we'll see us the, the trip for the second mansion, because oak stakes uh, carry on to different mansions. You don't have to buy the Berkeley oak stake to use it on the Berkeley orb. Yeah. Well, you know, this is, what pisses me off, though, is that you're restricted to just one. Yeah. What were you saying, Elliot? Um... When you, when you actually get the oak stake, mm -hmm. you, have to, you deposit the hearts through the heart, through the, um, the mouth of the cloak, yes. and it actually comes out of the merchant's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of... You have to throw it up. That's some Tim Burton shit, man. Yeah, he would do that. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> Were there talks, actually, of a Castlevania film at one point? Years, Elliot. Years, and I never saw any fruition. I think uh, Paul W.S. Anderson was supposed to do something with it. Well, but they already did one. It was called Lord of Shadow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gargoyles give us four hearts, uh, full hearts. They are worth six. Uh, the mansion is actually the best place to grind hearts because time doesn't travel in mansions. For yeah. some fucking reason, it does not. So if you're going for the best ending of the game, which requires you to beat the game in, uh, I think, under seven in-game days, I'm on day two right now, uh, you gotta do all your grinding in the mansions. Or you don't die in the goddamn process. No, yeah, getting a game over in Simon's Quest doesn't do anything in terms of your progression. You begin right where you died, but you lose all your hearts and your experience resets to zero. Fuck! Well, you still say that you keep the levels, but your ex your current experience drops. Alright, that's good. Uh, so, yeah, that that's never good. Don't want to do that. I don't plan on dying, but I do want to get some... Uh, you know what? I'm actually pretty good but right you now. Died once already. I died twice. Twice. Thank God, thank God Simon's a Buddhist, or otherwise reincarnation would be a fever dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Buddhist? Only when he wants to be. Only when he needs to be reincarnated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you going through the mansion again? No, no, no I'm backtracking. I wish I heard of running. Wait, Matt, Run button would be really good. Matt, Hinduism is with him, reincarnation. Hinduism, Buddhism. Yeah. It's something ism. <laughs> Schism. Schism? <laughs> Let's say we get out of here. You're in my way. You're in my way, too. <laughs> oh, my ribs! <laughs> <laughs> Said Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> Berkeley's Mansion. <laughs> Come for the curse, stay for the ribs. 